<clears throat> hey guys, Brady here. And so, apparently Legendary Pictures isn't thrilled with Warner Brothers' um, announcement about dropping all their movies next year on the uh, HBO Max. And that they're taking this to court. Because Legendary wanted to drop Kong vs. Godzilla onto Netflix, which I think is a big fuck you to the fans because, um, well, first of all, with the fact that Warner Brothers was going to be dropping these movies on HBO Max and theatr in theatrically anyway, that, that's that's great because I don't have HBO Max nor do I want HBO Max. Um, whereas I have Netflix, I'm pretty... And if it goes to Netflix, I'm not going to want to watch Godzilla vs. Kong on Netflix. It'll be fucking depressing to watch a movie like that on, on, at an at-home TV instead of on the big screen where it's meant to be seen. So, Legendary, what the fuck are you thinking about dropping God, Godzilla vs. Kong on, on Netflix? That's just, the last time we've seen these characters on screen with each other was 1962, I think, with um, the original. And that was men in costumes, uh, in big lizard and gorilla costumes. And you want to rob us of this experience on the big screen and drop this on Netflix. No, Warner Brothers, you need to win this so that, yes, it is still going straight to streaming, but it's also going to theaters as well. Warner Brothers, win this. Win this. Do not let Legendary win because if Legendary wins, it's gonna go straight to Netflix, and it cannot go straight to Netflix. It has to, it has to have its theatrical run. This movie screams theatrical release, like big monsters fighting each other. Like, why would you want to watch that at home? Watch that on. That needs to be seen on the fucking biggest screen possible. IMAX. Um, can't think of anything. Or, uh. Uh, what's it called? Uh, Cinemark, not Cinemark XD. Uh, what's it called? The the one at Regal. The seats move. Um, not D box. Is D box? D box is okay, but um, what was it? It was solid for Avengers. It was Regal's um. Alright, sorry, I just looked it up. It's called 40X with the seats moving and all that. Uh, I think it's a, I think 40X is way more effective and way more immersive than D-Box. I don't know. My first D-Box experience was with Mission Possible Fallout. Not a terrible movie to see in D-Box. Maybe it was the, the theater I saw it in, but the D-Box was eh. Um, but when I saw Endgame or Captain Marvel, and hell, I even saw um, It Chapter 2. In 40X. It, it Chapter 2 was probably my favorite film I saw in 40X. Because of how jerky the seats were throughout the entire movie. Whereas you think Avengers Endgame or Captain Marvel. Like two big budget action movies would be great in 40X. But no. It was a it was a horror clown movie. Or a clown horror movie. That was uh, the best in my opinion. Um, but yeah. If Legendary drops this on Netflix. They're going to rob us of a fully immersive experience that Netflix is not going to provide for us. Cinemas will. Warner Brothers is at least being nice enough giving these movies like Dune and all that. Because Dune is also legendary. A theatrical run. But Legendary is like, no. Uh... We co we we finance seventy five percent of this movie. It's our movie too, and we want to drop it on Netflix. No, don't drop this on Netflix. First of all, Netflix is for pedophiles. They they made a movie called Cuties, and uh, that has really weird uh, scenes in the movie in regards to kids, and. Someone on Twitter tweeted to the CEO or whatever of Netflix and asked them, do they support pedophilia? And they didn't say yes or no. They they went on this tangent to this person. And it's like, well, they didn't say yes or no. So that means 
They support it. They support pedophilia. And you want to drop Kong versus Godzilla versus Kong on a service that supports that bullshit. No. Don't drop this on Netflix. That will be a huge motherfucking mistake. You're going to rob us of a theatrical experience for your fucking uh, selfishness. Legendary. I used to like you guys, but if you're going to do this to Kong vs. Skull, uh, Kong vs. Skull, Godzilla vs. Kong, then fuck you. Fuck you for robbing us of a theatrical experience if you're doing this. Fuck you. That's all I got to say. Um, give Godzilla vs. Kong a theatrical re release. If you're not dumping on Netflix, we're not going to get that release. Um, uh, I know, oh, Mank and Irishman, they both went to theaters. Yeah, but those were limited runs. Those don't really count. Those were Oscar movies. They they, they were forced to put those on in the theaters because uh, the Oscars wouldn't allow them to win Oscars if they didn't get a proper theatrical run. They haven't done that for Six Underground. They haven't done that for um, other Netflix action movies. So what makes you think they're going to do anything different for Godzilla vs. Kong? They're not. Not gonna give Godzilla vs. Kong a theatrical release if it gets dropped on Netflix. Fuck you, Netflix. Do not buy this movie. Leave it. This is a Warner Brothers title. Leave it alone. Let Warner Brothers deal with this movie. This is not your film. Stop stealing franchises. You've already stolen Atomic Blonde. You're not gonna steal the Godzilla franchise from, from us.